Okay, so I'm about to talk to you on this shit, right? I got a couple of things I want to talk about. First of all, let me just go ahead and ride in on this Lil' Kim, um, Childish, 5th grade, fan box, bullshit, Nicki Minaj beef thing. Okay, I've been wanting to talk about it for a while, but I just really didn't want... I just really didn't have the words to say how I felt until I heard this diss track, this whack ass Black Friday diss, and I'm just about to wait here. First of all, I'm not a big fan of both of them. Don't get me wrong, I do like Nicki Minaj, I'm just not a huge fan. I'm just not a huge fan. Lil' Kim was never, was never one of my favorite female rappers back in the day. She, if anything, I was a Remy Ma, Trina fan. I wasn't really a Lil' Kim fan because I felt like she, lyrically, she was not that talented to me. And I, and honestly, that's just how I feel. But she did make some hot songs. I do like um, her last album that she made before she went to prison. Oh, excuse me. The last album she made, period. About five or six, seven years ago. You know, almost a decade. But, um, you know, I did like that album. Um, I'm not understanding this whole beef thing. I don't understand why the fuck she's so pissed at Nicki Minaj. Now, Nick, Lil' Kim, now I know there's been this whole big backfire thing, and everybody believes that Roman's Revenge was Nicki Minaj talking shit about Lil' Kim, and maybe it was. But Lil' Kim had been come for Nicki Minaj a while back, all the way back over the summer. She came for Nicki Minaj. When Nicki Minaj had got, had became really, really, really big, Lil' Kim had been came for her. And, and I, I don't... There's nothing about it that does not scream jealousy. That's all it seems to me. It seems like you're just hating on her because she is the it girl right now. She is the it female, um, you know, the female um, MC. Because, you know, Eve's not doing anything. Trina's not really doing anything right now. And I know a lot of people who probably ha have mixed tapes and say, oh, they are doing something right now. Well, I'm small as far as doing something is stepping up in the spotlight, doing an album, making a single, feature on people's shit. You're not doing it. Nicki Minaj is. And she is hot right now. Everybody wants to hear Nicki Minaj. When you go, look on fucking YouTube. It, you will see these songs. First of all, Monster, which is Kanye West, Jay-Z, Nicki Minaj. You'll see people only doing the Nicki Minaj verse. Um, Bottoms Up, Nicki Minaj verse. Um... Uh, Hello, Good Morning, Nicki Minaj verse, Nicki Minaj verse, Nicki, Nicki Minaj verses of all those songs that she's featured on. Everybody, there's so many videos of everybody just doing her because they just feel she is so charismatic, and that's what I like about her. You know, fuck what she's talking about. Maybe she's not as lyrically talented as everybody else is, but she engages you, and that's what I like. She's different. Lil' Kim, honey, if you're gonna come for somebody... If you want to come for somebody, bitch, be relevant. And why I mean by that, and I know Lil' Kim stands, don't you, I know you're going to come for me. I know you're going to come for me. And that's okay, because I'm ready for you, bitches. I'm ready for you, motherfuckers. Go ahead and come for me, but this is an opinion. Lil' Kim, to me, in my opinion, is not relevant. She is not, I don't understand why on the Hip Hop Awards, or uh, what's the BET Awards, one of those awards that happened over the summer, um, for best female hip hop artist, why was Lil Kim nominated? Why was she nominated? I don't get that. I also don't understand. Excuse my phone ringing because ain't nobody important. I also don't understand. Why you would be hating on her so hard? Why you would feel like Nicki Minaj need to pay homage to you and that she's a big copycat, blah, 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 blah. Okay, first of all, about the whole Nicki Minaj is a remix version of Lil' Kim, maybe she is. Maybe if you want to scrutinize it that hard, she really is. But art imitates fucking art. Everything that someone else has done will imitate what someone else has done in the, in the past. 
okay? The fact that she's gonna come from look, um, ugh, it's just, the whole thing is so stupid. If anything, bitch, you should be encouraging her. You should be like, oh yeah, you should be doing, yeah, girl, you do big things, let's work together, let's work together, let's work together. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just trying to come and then the diss track was whack. The diss was so fucking whack. I don't understand, like, bitch, if you want to diss somebody, Eminem morning shot when he diss Mariah Carey for her obsessed song. When he diss her, that's a diss, bitch. Um, Nicki Minaj's Woman's Revenge, that's a diss. Black Friday, that was, um, I don't know, it was something that came out of, that came out of, came out of the boil of Lil' Kim's ass. The boil of her ass. It came out of the fucking boil of her ass. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that was. But bitch, you, if you would spend that much time and energy making a fucking single and an album then you do making a fucking diss track, I still wouldn't buy it. Anyway, moving on, um, off of that, first of all, let me go ahead, um, let me talk about little Nicki Minaj for a second. I was not really impressed with her Pink Friday album, but I still liked it. I liked it, but I just wasn't impressed. I wasn't, I feel like we waited all this time for this. I mean, it's good, I, if you, if you like songs like Right Through Me, and your love and stuff like that. That's the type of songs that's on there. It's not no hardcore shit except for Romans Revenge and a couple other songs. But um it's okay. It just wasn't what I expected it to be. I feel like it wasn't supposed that that you don't for your first album you need to come hard. That seemed like a sophomore album to me. But whatever. Girl, you do your thing, you still hot, you still relevant, you keep doing your thing and you keep getting your money, bitch. I ain't hating on you. Raz B has continued to make many, 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 many allegations. As we know, so many years ago, Raz B came out and said, oh, I was molested and raped by Chris Stokes when he was a part of B2K and when he was younger. And he also said that Marcus Houston had a part in that too. But then he retracted it. Then he retracted it for whatever reason. He retracted it. Oh, well, but the damage was already done. Like, in my book, in my eyes, the damage was already done. People were looking at them differently. Now, Rasby has released all these damn videos on the internet, on worldstarhiphop.com, on YouTube, on all these damn videos of him repeating the same damn thing about how he was molested and how he was, you know, I just feel like this. Where's the lawsuit? I'm not saying I don't believe him. I do. I actually do. Because there was one um, video where he was having a conversation with Queen and Tyler, Tarver, Queen and Tarver, who, if you don't know who that is, he was a little boy who sung that song on that Romeo and Juliet um, movie that had Leonardo DiCaprio and um, uh, that one girl on it. Um... It had Leonardo DiCaprio on it. But anyway, it was like a modern day Romeo and Juliet movie. And he sung When Doves Cry. And he had a really, really good voice. He sung a couple other songs, but whatever. But he said that Marcus Houston, you know, had sex with him. And they were talk describing Marcus Houston's penis. It was really disturbing what they were talking about. And, um... But then, Queen and Tar... And this, and this is where Raz B is wrong for this. And this is... This is some fucked up shit. Quentin Tarver released a statement later saying that he didn't know that Raz B was taping him. They were supposed to be having a private conversation. Now, Raz B, I don't doubt for a second that something traumatic happened between you and Chris Stokes and, um, you know, Marcus Houston. Something happened, whether it was consensual sex or they forced you into it or, you know, a statutory rape. You know, all the way around, something happened to you. But what I do have a problem with you is, is the fact, the way you're going about this. First of all, you're not filing charges. You're not filing charges. You're just trying to exploit it. And then you're like, oh yeah, by the way, buy my album. Oh yeah, I'm starring in a movie. Oh yeah, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I was just fucking the ass when I was a little boy. And I was like, why? I'm not understanding. Like, he is crazy. What is wrong with you? You need help. You really do need to go see a therapist. Like, I really am praying. Like, I, this is a disturbed young man. He is fucked up. I, I'm serious. You are. 
but for you to, to, to try to exploit what happens, okay, if you want to get, put it out there that that happens to you, then put it out there that that happens to you. But if nobody else was talking about what happened to them, for you to sit here and say, oh, this happened to Bow Wow, and this happened to Jay Boog and Lil Fizz and Quentin Tarver, for you to exploit that shit, that is wrong. What, you have no idea how, what they're dealing with. Which just leads me to believe, which leads me to believe that I don't believe that he's doing this to, 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 to um, for, for good intentions. I don't believe that he um, has good intentions by exploiting this shit. I think he, it's, it's, I don't know if it's a money issue or what, but I just don't really believe that he has good intentions for what he's doing. It's fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? Just the way he's going about it is just not... It doesn't scream like, oh, I, I want to help other people. I want to expose them so other people can get help. And screaming like, oh... It just screams... It's just it's something shifty. It's something shady about it. You get what I'm saying? I mean, y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think about that. I really don't have much to say about the Razzie situation because I do take um, children being molested and sexually abused very seriously. Um, there are people in my family who have been through that and very traumatically been through that. So I don't know how to take him. I don't know whether to be hot or cold when it comes to Razzie because honestly, if you're playing about it, there's a special place in hell for you. If you are, because there is a difference between having being a teenager and having consensual sex with a grown man than being a teenager and being molested and raped. There is a big difference. I know people will disagree with me on that, but there is a big difference. And I'm not sure if he honestly... I, I don't know. I don't know. I think that there's some bad blood going on. Obviously, there's bad blood going on there. But because of the bad blood, I feel like that's the re only reason why he's coming out with these allegations. I don't believe he's coming out with these allegations to clear, cleanse his soul or anything like that. I believe he's coming out with these allegations because they pissed him off. Um, but I do believe something sexual and something fucked up did happen in that group. Um... I just don't know. So you guys let me know. You, you should feel what I'm saying about Raspy. In any case, he needs to get help. Because if you watch these videos, I'm not going to post the links. But you can find them on worldstarhiphop.com. And you can find them on different, you know, venues. If you watch these videos, he is he is screwed up in his head. He is. Um, I don't know. But um, anyway, this is Big Cell 20. That's what I want to talk about. And you guys have a good one.